everyone and welcome to CAPSIS channel for a new tutorial to present the mini vision, the new simplified and vocalized phone from CAPSIS. This phone is for the blind and visually impaired people who do not want smartphones, simply because they do not need one or because they find it too complicated. And the opposite, mini vision is a really simple phone, fully vocalized with voice commands to do certain actions vocally, such as call contacts or send a text message. Its streamlined and simplified interface will allow you to use the phone intuitively and easily. In this video, we will present you the contents of the box, the functions of the different keys, and the first tab. So let's go ahead and open the box. The first item you will find in the box is the quick starting guide. This guide will allow you to know the functions of the various keys on the phone as well as some important information. How to put the battery, how to insert the SIM card, how to charge the product, legal notices, etc. Below is the mini vision, which is packaged in the small pouch. It will be used after, so let's leave it on the side for now. Below the phone is the accessories compartment. To access it, simply lift the phone cardboard housing. You have a small hole above the box that allows you to lift it. In this compartment, you will have five elements, which we have removed from the original pouches for the purpose of the video. First, a neck strap that will allow you to hang the phone and prevent it from falling. Then, a pair of earphones that will serve as a hands-free kit for calls for the FM radio or simply so that the others do not hear the voice synthesis of the phone. Then we'll have the micro USB cable and the AC charger that will allow you to charge the phone. And finally, the phone battery that we're going to rush to put in the Minivision. To open the phone and put the battery and the SIM card that we also have with us, you must remove the back cover of the phone. To remove it, it's very simple. Just turn the phone around and at the bottom left you'll have a small notch. Just pass the nail on it and lift to remove the back cover. Once the back cover is removed, we will have access to the SIM card slot in the top right corner of the battery compartment. The Mini Vision is compatible only with SIM cards in a nano format. This is the smallest format of SIM cards. To open and unlock the SIM card drawer, just slide the door up and lift it up. Then simply put the SIM card in the connector. The SIM card should be oriented with the metal contacts down and the bevel corner at the bottom right. Once the SIM card is placed correctly, we will flip the trap door onto the SIM connector and lock the connector by sliding the door down. To the right of the SIM connector is a micro SD connector to expand the phone's memory if you want to have more than the internal 4 GB that are already available in the product. To insert an SD card, follow the exact same process as the one we just described with the SIM card. We will now insert the battery into the phone. For that, we will be looking for the metal connectors of the battery, which are situated at the bottom right of this one. And we will place them at the bottom right in the phone. We will insert the bottom of the battery first and then the top. You cannot go wrong, they're so-called foolproof small plastic pins that avoid putting the battery in the wrong way. So, just do not force, put it gently, and when the four corners are inside, it means that the battery is well positioned. Then you put back the cover, obviously, and you snap all the corners of the back cover to, to close the mini vision. Before starting the product and see the startup tutorial, that is to say the first configuration of the product, we will first describe each element of the mini vision. You first have a non-tactical screen on the front of the phone that allows you to view the contents of the phone for the visually impaired or for people helping you use the phone. So no fear to have, if you touch the screen, nothing will happen. Below the screen, you have the physical keyboard, which is composed of two parts. You have on the lower part, the classic alphanumeric keypad, including the keys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, star, 0, and pound. A central ergo is present on the 5 to, present, to position your fingers and type text on phone or phone numbers. And above, you have the navigation pad with in the middle of the uh, central joystick. This central joystick will allow you to navigate the phone. So you have the up and down keys that are used to move through the different menus of the phone. Then you have the central key called the OK key, which is used to validate the selected element and confirm an action. If you do a long press on the OK key, it will start the voice recognition of the mini vision. This allows you to dictate text with the voice in an entry zone, or you will be also able to use specific voice commands to initiate actions from the home screen or from the application list. 
these actions could be call Alan Smith, send a message to mom, etc. The list of voice commands is available in the user manual that you will find in the video description and you can also find it on our website www.capsis.com. Then let's go back to the joystick. So the left and right keys will allow you to change the sound of the phone. The left key will decrease the volume and the right key will increase it. Then around the joystick you have four function keys the two keys on the left and the two keys on the right. They are one above the other and they are separated by a raised bar. Let's start with the two keys on the left. The top key on, on the upper part is the menu key, symbolized by a square. This key is used to access the options of the displayed screen. They are usually actions such as saving, creating, modifying, or the parameters of an application. Below the menu key, you have the pickup key, symbolized by three vertical green dots. This key allows you to take a call when the phone rings. On the other side of the, jo the joystick, on the upper part, is the key back, symbolized by a triangle. This key allows you to go back one screen or delete a character in a text entry zone. Below the back key is the hang up key, symbolized by three horizontal red dots. This key is used to hang up a call or return to the Minivision home screen. If you do a long press on this key, this will allow you to turn on and off the phone. That's it for the front side. On the other faces of the Minivision, you will have below the microphone and the micro USB connector to recharge. Then on the right edge, you have the audio jack connector to put the earphones. On the top edge, there is a small hole to insert the next strap. And finally, at the back of the phone, there's a camera, a flash LED, and the main speaker. That's it for the description of the Minivision. We will now start the product by doing a long press on the pickup key, located at the bottom right of the joystick. When the phone starts for the first time, you will have a little vibration. Uh, then we have a capsis loading screen with a little music. The first time you start the phone, you will have a quick setup phase where you will have to choose the, the language of the phone and if you want to activate or not the vocalization of the screens. Here is the music. Then we'll have the language selection screen. The list of languages is sorted alphabetically. We will use the bottom of the joystick several times to reach English, in our case, and we will confirm our choice by pressing the OK key. A confirmation window appears. We will use again the bottom of the joystick to select yes and then confirm with the OK key. The last step is the activation of the speech synthesis. In our case, we want the phone to speak. So yes, we'll put it on. If you want the phone to vocalize it, uh, each selected item, like incoming calls, messages, or so on, you must select yes and confirm with the OK key. The configuration is now finished. For any questions, please consult the user guide on our website www.capsies.com. OK. OK, so now the setup is finished. So you just need to press OK again to finalize the setup. As we inserted the SIM card into the phone and it has a PIN, we will have to enter the security code with the alphanumeric Enter keypad. So we will use the physical keyboard to type the code and confirm the entry by pressing the OK key. Zero, 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 one. SIM unlocked successfully. That's it, the product is set up and we can now use it to explore the features of the Minivision. So first of all, for your information, let's review some basic principles of the phone. All items visible on the Minivision screen are arranged in a list to provide you with a simple and linear navigation with the up and down keys. There is no graphic element, only text. Each information is displayed on a line, so long text that go beyond the screen will scroll automatically after a few moments. By default, the text displayed on the screen is written in white and black. It is also possible to change uh, the contrast in the phone settings. 
So when you use the up and down keys to navigate the phone, the selected item will be focalized and displayed in the opposite color. When opening a new screen, Minivision always selects the first item in the list. When you go back to a screen that you have already opened, Minivision returns to the last element selected item. When you reach the beginning or the, the end of a list, a beep is emitted, followed by the repetition of the selected item. We will now go through the list of different functions of the phone. So we will use the up or down to leave the home screen and reach the list of applications. So that is to say the list of functions of the phone. Minivision works on the closed system. This means that it's not possible to add other applications yourself in the phone. It's not the same, for instance, with our Smart Vision 2. So Minivision, the first application that you'll find on the phone is the phone function. This feature will allow you to call con your contacts, view the history of calls made and received, and check your voicemail. The second application is the contacts function. This function allows you to create contacts in your phone. It will be the first time that you import your contact into the phone, uh, either from your SIM card or from a backup file in a VCF format. For all the information on how to import the, the contacts for the first time, just refer to our user manual, which is very well explained, either on our website or, as we said, in the description of the video. And then we have the Messages application which allows you to send and receive text messages. You can choose the type of message display either in a discussion mode or in a chronological mode. After comes the alarm and calendar applications to create your different reminders and alarms. The FM radio application for entertainment. Using the earphones that will act as an antenna, you can listen to the radios around you. The color detector application will allow you to identify the color of your clothes and or objects that are around you. Calculator. The calculator notes the flashlights applications are there for everyday life use. Weather. Then we have the weather application which allows you to have the seven day weather forecast of your current location. An emergency, emergency. application which allows you to set the Minivision emergency function. So doing a long press on the pickup key, the green key, you will start the emergency process and this application will define the actions to be done. You will be able to send text messages or call up to 10 of your contacts in cascade and even make a powerful, a powerful sound signal to alert people around you. Finally, the last application is settings function that will allow you to customize your mini vision, change the fonts, uh, text size, the brightness, change the speech synthesis, the setup of the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, etc. That's it for the presentation of Minivision. Thanks for watching the video and please do not hesitate to follow us on our social network and see you soon for the new video.